Hi everybody, it's Deb from d, d Art Gallery. Today I have a 14 by 14 inch canvas. I'm going to be doing a uh, traveling straight pour on it. So let's go over my paints. My base coat, I did not want just a basic white today. So I chose Amsterdam Titanium Buff Light. And I will show you that color. And my next paint is a combination of the Arteza Prussian Blue and Amsterdam Paints Gray. I wanted a very deep, deep blue. And that's what I chose. Combination of those two. The balance of my paints today are all the color art primary elements. And the first one is a bling it color and it is um, Muscatel, and I will show you that color. Very pretty color. My second color is Pomegranate. My third color is a combination of the Color Art Bling It Indian Spice and Ceylon cinnamon and I will show you those two colors my next paint is a combination of the color art primary element eucalyptus and teal zircon My next primary element is Blushing Pumpkin. And my last one, I did want to throw an interference color in there. It is the Color Art Interference Blue. And let me show you that. See if you can see the blue shift in this paint. And you can also see consistency. I've left them a little bit on the thicker side here today. So I'm going to stop the camera, take care of my paints. Um, I'm going to paint the uh, outside, the edges, and the corners of my um, canvas. And I'll bring you back and we'll start painting. Okay, everybody I'm back and I have painted the uh, edges and the corners of my canvas and before I go on I forgot to mention that for my primary elements to make them liquid I mix them with about a teaspoon of isopropyl alcohol and I got this idea from Mina Villegas and then after they were mixed, mixed with that tablespoon, about a scoop of the uh, primary element with about a teaspoon of the um, alcohol. And then I added seven parts of the mix. And you can see that here. And for the paints, I just added seven part mix to one part paint. I did not have to thin any of my paints with water today. I did leave them uh, pretty... Thick. So let's get started. I'm going to fill my, my cup here and then I'll probably stop the camera again, put down my base coat and bring you back and then we'll start painting. So I think I'll just put a little bit of my base coat down at the bottom here. And again, this is just going to be a traveling straight cup pour. And let's put this color. And I will have plenty of paint for this canvas, but if I do have negative space, that's fine. That's that pumpkin color, the interference blue.
think this was called Ceylon. Uh, Ceylon. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Cinnamon. Here's that beautiful, beautiful purple color. And the mixture of the paints gray. See, it was paints gray and the Prus Arteza Prussian blue. And here's the teal color I made up with the primary elements. And we'll go for the interference again. Such beautiful, beautiful colors. I'm going to put a little bit more of my base coat in there. Just a little bit. And then we'll finish up with our layers. Very, very pretty pumpkin color here, like a muted orange. And when I say a scoop of the um, primary element, this is the scoop that they provide. So I put about a scoop of the primary element in the bottom of my cup. And then I added about a teaspoon of the isopropyl alcohol. Stirred that up, make it liquid. And then once that was stirred in really well, and you can tell it's not grainy anymore, then I added the uh, seven parts of the mix and mixed it really well. Very creamy. And I will list in the description also where you can purchase the mix. Okay, the final of this interference blue. This was pomegranate, beautiful color. I've been pretty happy with the Color Art Primary Element line of makeup powders. Very rich colors and they blend in very well. And here is the last of the blue. I 
and the last of the teal. And I think I will add another dab of the base coat just on top here. Okay, what I'm going to do is stop the camera and I'm going to put down my base coat and I'll bring you back. We'll start painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back and I am doing a voiceover for this part of the video and I have sped it up two and a half times. Here I'm just laying down some of that base coat before I start pouring out of my cup just to help that paint move. And I actually did take quite a bit of time um, laying the paint down, but because this is sped up, it, it appears to go fast. And I was pretty happy how the result that I got from laying this paint down Trying to do the very little center part of it though. I did uh, I did have to fix that up a little bit with a skewer. You can see me doing it right there. Just giving it a quick torch. And at this point I'm very, very happy with that the lower right hand corner as you're seeing it now there are some beautiful colors there and here i am just adding some more of the base coat so the paint doesn't roll over on itself but it it helps just to uh that extra paint helps and it pushes pushes it out and i can keep my lines just taking my time tipping here with that mix you can really see the transparency between layers. And these colors did 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 play really really nice with each other. And I think the consistency of my paint was was spot on for this painting. And here I didn't want to lose really anything in that corner either. So I did add a little more base coat there. This, at this point I felt, unfortunately I know I'm going to have to tip some paint off. And I am taking something that was in the painting out right there with my tweezers. And you do want to do that right away or it will change the composition of your um, painting and it has changed the composition of those lines and as you can see I took a skewer because I didn't want to tip anymore without trying to fix those lines. Pardon the glare from the uh, overhead lights. And I'm continuously looking at the edges and covering the corners as I go along, as you'll see right there. I'm trying to bring the, uh, the little circle there in the middle just a little bit more uh, towards the middle there with the tipping now. And I could afford to tip a little bit of the lighter side off there. And now I decide I can really tip quite a bit of this off all the purple and the other colors, the blue. I'm trying to stretch out those lighter colors. And you'll see in the end result how, how pretty that really did turn out.
Again, just stretching as much as I can there. And the pain at this point is starting to slow down a little bit. And now just giving it a quick torch before we get you down for the close-up. And I am fixing that little center part there. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up. And again, this was a traveling straight cut pour. And this was a 20 by 20 inch canvas. I didn't make that error in the beginning. I said 14 by 14. It is a 20 by 20. And I did use mostly primary elements on this painting. And here's the upper left-hand corner. And I'll tell you, with that mix, it just turned out gorgeous. Look at the look at the definition of those those lines and the transparency from layer to layer coming up there. Just so so pretty. The camera does not give this justice. And I will have to show you this when it is dry in a few days, hopefully. This is the lower left-hand corner. You can see some of that sparkle in there. And in here. This combination of colors just, they played so well together. And here is the center coming up on the center of that. Kind of made it a little ring pour there in the middle. Just coming up the middle part of the painting here. These colors are just fabulous. And here is the lower right-hand corner. And going up the right-hand side here. And this is the upper right-hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it. Make sure you ring the bell, choose all, so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so to help my channel grow. I appreciate you spending time with me today and watching this video. I hope you learned something. Make sure you leave a comment if you'd like. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.